Hey chili heads, welcome back to Red or Green. Today we are going to make a pesto, but not just any pesto, we're gonna make a green chili pesto. So I actually got this idea from, I think it's Dry Point Distillers down south. So in Las Cruces, they make this green chili pesto and I always, you know, was really curious about it and wanting to try it. And so I've been growing basil all summer long and now that summer's over and I have to bring my basil plant in, I'm gonna use most of it for this green chili pesto. And so I'm gonna add just a little bit of green chili. I don't wanna add too much because I don't really want to overpower the basil in this. And so I'm, I'm really excited to share this recipe with you. We're also gonna use some piñon instead of walnuts because I really wanna keep that whole New Mexico theme going on. If you know or you have any tips for me about bringing in your basil for the winter i really want to keep growing some basil throughout the winter but i've never really done that usually i'll grow it all summer outside and then i just kind of let it die off so if you have some tips for me i really want to bring it in and keep it going all winter so um, leave it in the comments below tell me what you do if you've done that or again any tips you might have for me so um, there's a couple of things you can do with this pesto you can, you can use it for a pasta, make a cream pasta, or even just a, a regular pasta with a little bit of pasta water. Um, or you can make a pesto pizza. We're also gonna make these little mini appetizers, these mini caprese sandwiches um, that make a great appetizer if you wanna make them for a football game or any upcoming holidays. And it's really versatile. You can use it in so many different ways. So I hope you try it. And if you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Also, if there are any recipes you would like to see on the channel, leave it in the comments below. We'll do our best to get it on the channel in the future. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Hit post notifications. That way, whenever we release a new video, you get notified right away. All right, I think we have everything we need here. So let's get to it. So I'm beginning by rinsing and drying about two cups of basil leaves. Now all I did was rinse these in a colander and then pat them dry with a dish towel or you can use paper towels. I'm chopping up about two to three New Mexican green chilies. This is about a half a cup. Now, if you don't have access to New Mexican green chili, you could also use an Anaheim chili, a poblano, you decide. Next, I'll add two cloves of garlic, a half a cup of pinon, pine nuts, and I'm using about a cup of olive oil. Now I didn't measure this, but to me it feels like a full cup of olive oil. Now I'm gonna blend this until it's very smooth. I also had to stop the mixer about halfway through just to push down all the ingredients so everything gets blended up evenly. I actually forgot to add some salt, so I went back in with a half teaspoon of salt. Now add about three quarter to one cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm using fresh Parmesan cheese here. And I add it at the end because I don't want the blade to melt the cheese. And I actually learned this from another chef and I just think it's better if you add it at the end so it combines but it's not necessarily melting with the blade. I added a little extra olive oil at the end because I wanted it to be a little bit thinner. You want this to be the consistency of mayonnaise maybe a little thinner. Now I'm using some sourdough crostinis and I'm just slicing them about a quarter of an inch thick. I'm also slicing the tomatoes a quarter of an inch thick as well as the mozzarella cheese. Everything should be evenly sliced. Now I'm going to assemble these. I'm going to put some of the pesto on both sides of the inner side of the crostini along with some mozzarella tomato, and voila. These are so delicious. They're going to be a hit at your next party. I hope you make these and don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you do. Enjoy!